guys. So it is the end of November already. <laughs> what? It is, well, by the time you see this, it'll be December because I'm going to upload this on Sunday, which is December 1st. What? It was just, it was just Halloween. What? I know this year is just going by so fast. It's mind blowing. And what makes things even worse is that Thanksgiving came super late this year. So we don't have that much time before Christmas. And it's just crazy. But anyway, so it's the end of the month. So it is time for November favorites. Um, I have some pretty good things that I've either just discovered in the month of November or things that um, I've been using for a while and I've been really, really loving. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. So first things first, cosmetic stuff. Um, if you saw my haul, my mini old haul, it's kind of in the beginning of the month. Um, I went to Urban, or I went to Ulta, obviously this is an old haul, um, and there was a traveling makeup artist from Urban Decay and she did the skin match um, or face match on the Naked Skin products and I got it. So it's the foundation and I'm actually combining these two as kind of like a two-in-one favorite. But this is the Naked Skin Beauty Balm and the Naked Skin Foundation. I absolutely love these. I feel like they are such great purchases because they were definitely a splurge because this was $34 and this was $39. So definitely a big splurge. I absolutely love it. I feel like it's such a great foundation. Um, it looks super natural and just provides amazing coverage. I absolutely love it. Um, and I was like, oh, when I bought it, because I was like, oh, no, I'm not going to use it every day because it's just too expensive to use every day. Um, but I've used it pretty much every day. And I don't, maybe like a pump, maybe a little bit more than a pump, will do my whole face. And that's it. So I'm definitely getting some good use out of it. Um, I feel like it is kind of a good deal. I'm, I'm, I just, I love this stuff. Best foundation ever. And then comparing using it with the Beauty Balm, I, this kind of goes on first. It's got an SPF, it's DNA repair, optical blurring, and oil free. And this is great. It works as a primer as well. Um, I wasn't sure how this. Oh, that was Heidi. Sorry, I wasn't sure how this would work with a primer because I have seen another YouTuber, Carissa P uh, Pukas, who um, used this and she used it with I think it was the Professional primer and it was kind of smearing off as she was rubbing it on so I was kind of nervous to see how it would work with my normal primer which is the um, Tarte Clean Slate Poreless but it works just fine it works perfectly so um, which is good because I don't want to use this every day because it's not as big but definitely I love 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 these these are definitely a great purchase um, and I'm going to have to do a video, um, kind of like an updated, like foundation routine to show you guys how I use these. And then this one smells good too, because it smells like, um, chocolate mint, which is interesting. Um, next thing I have here, which I've had for a while, um, but I've just really, really been loving lately. Um, and it's Benefits Eye Bright. And this is an eye brightener. You can put it on the inner corners of your eyes to brighten your eyes up. What I've been doing before I put on my primer or my foundation is I run it under my, un my um, under eye because I was sick for a lot of, for most of November. So I wasn't sleeping good. So I had really bad dark circles. Um, so I started using this before I put, again, before I put on my primer or my foundation. Um, I just would apply it kind of almost like in a triangle shape um, and then blend it in and it really helps even out dark circles um, and then I would go through with my normal foundation routine but I I've loved this for a really long time I hadn't been using it but then once I started getting the really bad dark circles I started doing that and it's honestly helped a lot and I love my my eye bright so Next thing, these next three things I got all in, um, discovered in the month of November. Um, this is the, well, I guess this one technically didn't really discover this year. Um, I, this is the EOS lip balm. I have several of these. I have, um, one in here. I have one in my car, one in my purse, everything. Um, but I got this one. This is the blueberry acai, um, flavor. It smells 
really, really good. It smells like just blueberries. Um, I wouldn't know it had acai in it, but I love the U.S. lip balms. I think they're great. Um, and I just, I love them. They make my lips feel super, super smooth. And I just kind of put it on before I put any lipstick on. Like while I'm doing my makeup, I put this on and do the rest of my makeup before. And helps condition my lips before I put on lipstick. And I put it on before I go to bed. Um, definitely tend to reach for an EOS before any of my other lip balms. And I just really, really love the blueberry one. I think it's pretty. I like the, the color. And it smells really good. And I love it. It makes my lips feel good. Next thing was also from the same haul video that I did my um, foundation with, and it's the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush and Blushing Bride. Um, I'm wearing it now. I don't know if you can if you can tell. Maybe it's a really really nice color. It looks kind of purpley in here, not on camera of course, but um, I still have swatches on my hand from my Black Friday haul I just filmed. Um, but it's a really nice color and it has a little teeny bit of shimmer in it. I really, really like this blush. Um, I think it's, I love the packaging too. I love Tarte's products. Like I'm starting to really buy a lot more Tarte products and I really love it. And it's, I've been reaching for this one, um, pretty often. I will say, I think I used it almost every day this week. So it's kind of like my go-to blush the last couple weeks. <clears throat> also, I've been really, really loving my new MAC eyeshadow that I just got about two weeks ago. This is All That Glitters, which is a really nice kind of glittery, gold, bronzy color. Very, very nice. Um, very soft. Again, I don't know if it's showing up. It's not heavily pigmented. It just adds a teeny, teeny bit of shimmer. Um, I used a one of the Maybelline color tattoos as a base and then put this on and it looked really really nice um, and again I just love anything Mac um, so yeah. and the last cosmetic item that I've really been loving in the month of November I actually got this in October maybe I'm not really sure I can't remember when I got it but um, I'm a huge fan of the Real Techniques brushes. I have almost all of them. I mean, I have the eye set, then I have the powder brush, I have the foundation brush, the expert face brush, the bl uh, blush brush, everything like that. Um, so I got the setting brush, and I am loving this one. I use this to apply my luminizer. So um, what I do, and the luminizer I use is I kind of... Ten, sometimes I use two. Um, I have the Benefit High Beam that I maybe put like a teeny teeny bit on before I do my powder luminizer. Um, but it's the Balms Mary Luminizer. Um, I got this in a birch. I think this I got this in my very very first birch box. As you can see, it used to be in my makeup bag, so it's all dirty. Um, but I really really love this stuff. And with the setting brush, it's so easy. Like you can use this to set your concealer with a powder. But again, I just use it as my highlighter um, so I just get a little bit on and then really just go like that on the tops of my cheeks I already have some on so I'm putting more on and it's gonna be like really highlighted and then it also is perfect to go straight down my nose uh, my cupid's bow as well put a little bit more on there on this side so it's even but I really really like this brush because like all the rest of the Real Techniques brushes it's really great quality really inexpensive I think this one was maybe like eight or nine dollars um, and it's just it's a great great product I didn't contour my nose today I just realized that oops but yes yeah, so I have been using this every day um, I never really used to use um, a highlighter or anything like that before but um, I have been pretty much every day now and the setting brush is just, it's my friend. Okay, so now I'm getting into the, I feel like I'm like speeding through this. I don't know. I did um, like a long tutorial this morning. I did my haul, my Black Friday haul, which was like 25 minutes long. So I'm like trying not to do another long video because they can get kind of boring. So the next couple things I have. Um, are non-cosmetic. 
mm, we'll do these first. Uh, okay, so during the holiday season, like holidays and peppermint go hand in hand. Um, I didn't go to Starbucks today, so I don't have my peppermint mocha, which is my winter drink. Um, I usually only get three or four drinks at um, Starbucks. And of course, two of them are seasonal drinks, pumpkin spice latte, and then the peppermint mocha starting November 1st. I'm just drinking straight peppermint mochas in the red cups. I love them. Um, but I just love peppermint, so that's one of my favorites. Um, but then also, I have the Ghirardelli peppermint bark squares. These, I uh, I get so excited when I see these in store. They are so good. I just, these are, these are my favorite. I look forward to these every single year. So delicious. They have the peppermint bark and they're amazing. I need to stock. I always stock up on them. Um, so it will last me a couple months past Christmas uh, once they're out of the stores and they're, they're just, they're so good. So that's like a yearly favorite. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi, what are you doing? I was hoping she would do the head tilt. But she didn't. What are you doing, Uber? Okay, and so the next thing, again, is another peppermint thing. And I just discovered this a couple weeks ago at 7-Eleven. Um, Chocolate-covered pretzels are the best things in the world. Um, but peppermint-dipped snowflake pretzels? Yes. These are, like, for, pretzels are the best food in the world anyway. But... These are just so delicious. It's white chocolate and peppermint, um, or peppermint flavored white chocolate. It's got little bits of like candy cane or something in it. So good. These are just, and they're snowflakes. They're little snowflakes. How cute. But I saw these at some moment and they had a whole bunch. They had like peppermint ones and dark chocolate and stuff like that. But these were, they're a little expensive, $3.29 for a little bag, but they were so good. Okay, next item I have is a little bit of a weird one, but um, I was sick for a couple couple weeks ago. I was really sick. I had a really bad cold. I thought I had bronchitis, but I didn't, luckily. Um, <clears throat> but, of course, you know, when you're sick, you go through tons of tissues. Now, I usually use, like, the tissues that have, like, lotion in them because, you know, when you blow your nose a lot, your nose gets irritated. Um, so I stopped at CVS because I needed, um, some more tissues and I was kind of trying to find some and I found this new type of tissue I'd never heard from. It was called, it was from Kleenex and they are called the Cool Touch tissues. So it says Cool Touch. I don't know why I'm so excited about these tissues. These, they're cold. They are, like, they're literally, they're cold. I don't know how they're cold, but they're cold. Like... The best way to describe, like, I just, <sighs> they're so soothing. They, they're just cold and they feel so good. Like, they're just, I've been telling everybody, like, if they get sick, I'm like, get these because they just feel so good. The only way I can describe them is that during the summer, you know, when you wash your sheets, and they're nice and clean and cold because of the air conditioning and you get into your sheets, that's what they're like. Like, that's, they're, ugh. they feel like clean, cold sheets. They're so refreshing. They're so soothing. And I just, I don't know. I love them. Mm. I love these. I don't know why I'm so excited about these tissues, but I am. Mm. They're nice and, nice and cool. Anyway, okay, stop being weird. <laughs> the last thing I have for my November favorites is a TV show. Um, in my October favorites, I talked about um, American Horror Story and Breaking Bad. Um, of course, I've been still watching American Horror Story, but Breaking Bad on Netflix, I've kind of slacked off. I haven't watched it since before I did my October favorites video. Um, I'll probably end up going back to it. I do that a lot where I'll get into a TV show, um, like watching the seasons or whatever. And then I kind of lose interest for a little bit and then I go back and finish watching them. So I probably will when I don't know, but I do have a new show on Netflix. I have been watching, um, my sister started watching Supernatural and I'd heard about it. You know, I'm on Tumblr 
tons of supernatural stuff on Tumblr. I think supernatural is like one of the biggest fandoms behind like Doctor Who on Tumblr. Um, and so I would see like all this stuff about supernatural and I had no idea what it was about and um, had I was so lost when I would see this stuff and I'd be like, oh, I don't, I don't know. Um, but my sister started watching it and I saw a couple episodes with her or a couple snippets here and there. Um, and then when I was sick a couple weeks ago, I started watching it. Uh, I was like, oh, let me, let me give it a show. I'm already in the fourth season and I've been like binge watching it. I usually watch about four or five episodes a night. Usually, well, I guess like three or four. Um, like when I was sick, I was up all night. So I was watching it and I love that show. Like it's such a good show. Um, it's, just, oh, I love it. I love Dean. Oh, he's, he's so beautiful. <laughs> He's so, so cute. Um, Sam is cute too, but Sam kind of gets on my nerves because he's so whiny, you know? I don't know if, does he get better? Like, for those of you who watch Supernatural, does he, like, get better as the show goes on, like, not so whiny? Because, you know, like, the first couple of seasons, he has such, like, these really big daddy issues, and he's all, like, I don't know, he's always so whiny, and I'm like, shut up, Sam, just stop. Mm -mm. Just stop. But, I mean, he's cute too. I do like Sam. But Dean. Uh, mm. Mm. <laughs> anyway. So, um, I also have been loving Sleepy Hollow. I kind of mentioned that in my last favorites video. I really do like Sleepy Hollow. That's on um, Fox and Ichabod Crane. Who I've, I can't remember. For the life of me, I can never remember his name. Tom Miso? Something like that? I don't know. But he is cute too. I know I don't normally like guys with long hair, but he's he's really cute. So yeah, so if you've um, never checked out Sleepy Hollow, definitely do because that's a really really good show. So, um, but yeah, definitely have been loving Supernatural. So anyway, well this video turned out to be a lot longer than I wanted it to to be, but that's okay. Um, so if you liked this video, give it a big old thumbs up. If you've tried any of the products I mentioned in this video, leave your opinion um, down below also about the show's um, Supernatural. Does Sam stop being so angsty and whiny? Like I get that you, you know, the demon and stuff, but get over it. Yeah, suck it up. Um, anyway, go ahead and thumbs this video up. If you're not already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because every time somebody subscribes, I get the warm and fuzzies. Uh, don't forget to check out my Facebook page, facebook.com slash jennybeesbeautybuzz. And also check out my blog, jennybeesbeautybuzz.blogspot.com. Talk to you guys later.